Vicky, wait your turn. Come on, sit down. Where do you think that hill is then, Fergie? What hill? The one where it looks two hundred and ninety degrees. You were upset out at sea? Yeah, because it was too wavy. Ah. You're happy to be in harbour? Yeah. In the calm? Yeah. What was your favourite bit today, Ferg? Uh, my favourite bit today was seeing the, the cellar. The oh, cellars. the cave. It wasn't a cave, it was kind of a cavern. Was it? For the smugglers. It wasn't a cave because it had two ends. It was very kind of Mr. Tyndall, wasn't it? Yeah. To share it with us. I uh, suppose lots of people have been in it because there's lots of footprints. Mm, we were very lucky. But it was nice for him to take us in as well. Mm. Yeah. Of other people. I'm looking forward to low tide, to walking around at low tide. Mm. A big play area when the harbour's in lo at low tide, you can just run around in it. Yeah, and Mr. Tyndall lights off oh, signal, flag. signal flag, doesn't he? put up the on the ground flag and I put up the it's time to come aboard it's time for dinner back see if they notice I'd like to do it right, mine is cooking now please I'd like to do that Okay, Jenny Wren, what's been your favourite bit about 
the holiday so far and our, our, what's been the favourite bit of our exploration of the Firth and the Fourth so far? Staying at Cove Harbour. Why is that? It's beautiful. <laughs> is it? And what's been the most unpleasant moment of the trip so far? In the uh, when Freya was seasick, I was worried for her. She kept crying and she was very unhappy. On our first passage. Mm. She okay. wasn't very well. Fergus, what's, I felt sorry for her. What's your favourite bit so far? Uh, and my and using our legs. Using our legs. That's been the best bit, has it? Yes. Putting the legs on the chuckle and then landing on the ground. Yeah. What's been the most un savoury moment. Oh, hearing Daddy that he had walked onto a beach near in the poo and done it in the middle of the beach <coughs> and had to pick it up in a poo bag. Oh, thanks for it. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay, at least we cleaned it up. My swim was amazing last night. Oh, <laughs> it's because he done two pencil dives. <laughs> <laughs> right, you. Mm. Look. Ah. Okay, Freya. What have you enjoyed the most Ooh. about? What have you enjoyed the most about <laughs> our trip so far? Uh, Bungee. Uh, sleeping. You like sleeping on the boat? Yes. Why do you like sleeping on the boat so much? Because last night. <laughs> Sure. I accidentally, I didn't fall down my bed, but I was in my sleeping bag still, and I came away from my bunk next to Mummy's sleeping bag and laid on Mummy's sleeping bag, and BC keeps on making my face, but I didn't wake up. And you like that? Mm -hmm. Right. She didn't exactly lick my face, she was licking my hair. You like getting all cosy in the bunks with mum and yeah. the dog. And what's the, the most unsavoury oh, thing no. so far about your holiday? What's not, what you've not liked? Uh, Think about it yourself. Don't listen to Fergus. <laughs> what did you not like? Uh, been sick. Oh, no. Nobody likes that, do they? No. Have you got your sea legs now, do you think? Yeah. That's good. But it was really wave on that day, I didn't really like it. Mm. And what about you, Tom? I don't know, really. <laughs> I'm so tired out already, but I've enjoyed feeling very rested yesterday. And I feel pretty rested today, so I'm feeling confident about getting to Dunbar, even though it's such a small passage. Uh, I think we'll all get there happy, which is which is a big success for me. And what's been the hardest or worst part? Getting caught short on the middle of the beach. <laughs> business. <laughs> but we're not saying no more about that. I don't know. Ah. I was a bit, I was sorry that Freya got seasick and she wasn't well prepared for it. Um, but it happens, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that rough or anything. But I think, I can't think of anything actually, I'm having a wonderful time. Station. People screaming along. We're just having a wee on the way. A wee? This is about the main thing. I need a wee, have. I need a wee, is what everyone's screaming. Or a poo. A wee or a poo will just do. A wee or a poo will definitely do. I need a wee, I need a poo. 
Now the phone's ringing. struggling to hold my camera steady. I oh. keep rocking about. <laughs> I used to be on the book. <laughs> it's an uncanny feeling when you're not that used to it Aye. and you, you're... Uh... I've been trying to grow the children's sea legs slowly and give them a bit of just a wee few hours here and there you know. Yeah. I'm not doing too badly. Is this the very bottom edge then? Ah, uh, this is the bottom edge, yep. So that below it's waste, is it? No, no, this this is the bit that actually trawls on the, the bottom. Ah. That's the, the heaviest bit. It takes yeah. most of the weir. So the that bit you're putting on, that's what for that? That's just what they call the guard. The guard. And you're strengthening it up now, just... Ah, uh, that's right, yep. I feel like as surviving on this boat is like a protest to modern life, some of the aspects of modern life, you know. <laughs> In a way. I'm not sure I should subject my children to such a... Uh, well... <laughs> to go fishing, eh, Sue? It says zero, not... There's Anne Strother ahead of us. it began to grow light outside. For some time the thunder had been lagging after the lightning. After a flash it was a long time before the rumbling of the thunder began far away. The wind dropped. The noise on the wreck of the rain on the tent grew less and less and came to an end. The dawn came up behind the eastern hills. The light of the lantern no longer filled the tent. Light was coming in from outside through the canvas. The swallows and Amazons went out into the early morning to look at the wreck of their camp. Patches of blue sky were showing overhead and patches of sunlight on the hills. Ragged clouds were blowing away. There was a wonderful smell of wet air. The storm was over. John went back into the tent to tap the barometer. It was going up. 
Susan began raking the sodden ashes out of the fireplace. Nancy brought out her bike. Yeah, I'm gifting you. Wow, look at Whoa. that. That is amazing. Amazing. Whoa. I think that's when they're really excited they do it. When they've got lots of fish. fly that fling themselves out of the water so high. What's the next bit? <laughs> What's the weather like tomorrow?
week three. We're in Grand and yesterday uh, was an eve morning. Mm -hmm. Yesterday uh, we were anchored off in Cove, weren't we? Inch yeah, Cove. Inch Cove. Inch Cove. And we went on the island and we bought our wetsuits and giggle. We sailed to I we rode we kind of rode and, and sailed to the island and giggle. Mm -hmm. And then we unloaded we got halfway and then daddy and mummy realised that they had forgot the money and might have forgot the the water because they needed to pay when you land. Anyway, aside from all that excitement, how's Fergus and how are you enjoying week three? Oh, I love it! It's week three, so how is it going? Good. I had a bit of a low point at Port Edgar, but now I'm back rejuvenated and enjoying it. What was, the problem, what was the problem with Port Edgar? Well, we got stuck there. And it wasn't very nice. It was a bit solar. Mm. And we were all a bit tired, I think. But we're having lots of fun again now. Hooray! What's your favourite bit recently, the last few days then, since leaving Port Edgar? <laughs> it was quite funny going to Inch Cove and swimming and then having to sail back and giggle. <gasps> and with the sea, with all our gear, oh God, it's freezing cold in our wetsuits with the dog and oh god that was a bit funny and then having a freezing cold shower it was all quite exhilarating that was quite fun in a bad way <laughs> i thought you i thought i'd lost you in port edgar i thought that was it you have given up on sailing and that was it, you were going home. I know. I was a bit miserable for a few days. No. Still surviving the keelboat experience. We've decided you're a keelboat sailor though, eh? You don't like tippy tippy dinghies. Not really, no. No. You like the security of a cockpit? Yes. Why? Understand and that. why not? Mm, it's very nice. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Do you want to look forward to the next week? Yes. And then it would be nice to get home, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then I'll see my bedroom again. In your bedroom, yeah. Look at that little box down there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. And there'll be a lot more room. Mm. What are you looking forward to the most when you get home? Uh, playing tennis. Yeah. What about you, BT? What about you? Are you having a nice time? You weed on the deck for the first time yesterday. <laughs> was it a very stressful experience? You didn't look happy. You did very well though, didn't you? Yes. You stay there on the chart table. You're not allowed in with your wet, wet, dirty paws. <laughs> mm. What was your favourite thing? The favourite thing in the last few days? Yeah was seeing everyone happy on board yesterday and the oh, evening yeah. before. And what was your... Mm, not very happy day. Well, mm. when we were in Port Seton and I took you out sailing and it was rough and nobody liked it and you were all 
upset. And then you were fed up because he was stuck in Port Seaton. It's Port Edgar, silly. Oh, yes, Port Edgar. Port Edgar. <laughs> Keep calling it Port Seaton. And I got very worried because I thought that was the end of our sailing holidays. I thought that was it. My mum's going to take you all home and it was all going to be over. And it didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't want to have one anymore. But, but I've recovered now. Because that seems to have waned with the good weather. I must say, you're a bunch of fair weather sailors. Not like my old dad. You loved a bit of North Sea drizzle and driving sleet and rain and rrr. But I guess nobody really likes that. It's nice to. But he doesn't I like, like I like the fact that you can reef the sail and put up your hood and batten the hatches down and everything's okay. It's very reassuring that you can survive. And it was good to go out in the chop with you because. I knew you wouldn't get, I kind of knew you wouldn't get very far, but it's good that you've experienced it, even if it was a bit uncomfortable, a bit of a shock to the system after these lovely days we've had. Yeah.
very good. And beautifully executed team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good girl, Freya. You tie that onto there. Put the boat in the end. I'm holding onto the boat. You drop a boat in. Thank you. 